Apparently, Los Angeles has slowed down price-wise. Increased traffic, problems with parking, uh, buildings going up taller than currently allowed, trying to cram people into an area where already there is a difficulty with services and with quality of life issues. So I would say that if someone did not need to sell, I would say don't sell this year. Recently, there is a woman in Northern California who's actually suing her real estate agent because her property has declined in value. So I thought we would introduce ourselves. If you're remodeling your kitchen or you're adding a bath, as long as you don't spend more than 25000 you will get 102% of your money back at the sale in California. The buyer had moved into a house and said the birds chirp so loud and nobody disclosed the chirping birds. So they sued and they actually won the lawsuit. And also because this particular bedroom is a loft. Some buyers want Whoa. privacy and they may say, this doesn't give me that privacy. I can't have someone downstairs watching television while I'm trying to go to sleep. And even though this is a ranch house, it's great to have a traditional feel because buyers love traditional. That's probably the number one seller. It's beautiful. They did an excellent job. I love the cabinetry. 20,000 would be a smart decision. 30, I think, is a little bit too much. I also am concerned about the size. I want to make sure it's not too large because you don't want to encroach on the backyard. She's lived in the San Fernando Valley for 20 years. And I understand that there's a logic in that, but at the same time, if you already have an area that's too congested, then it's, it's not logical. It's no longer smart growth. It's not as intelligent as it originally may have seemed on paper. Hi, I'm Charlotte. A home is the biggest financial investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling it should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor, there'd be nonprofit organizations that could do this rather than spending taxpayer money to put this into place. It's supposed to increase affordable housing. It actually does not have that effect. Have you ever taken risky loans? What kind of loans do you have and have Sixth. you had? I know it's so exciting. It was, but it was a 10 year interest only. only. So it's fixed for 10, 10 years. years. So I like it, but it has ghosts. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, it has ghosts. Oh.